Good morning, everybody. We got a 30 by 12 stamp concrete patio we're doing today. Barn board stamps, 16 inch barn board stamps. All right, so that's it for the pour. We'll probably, that'll probably be, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes before it's even close to being ready to stamp. So we'll see you back when it's ready to stamp. All right, so it's about 45 minutes after the pour. It's firmed up enough, so we should be able to get on it. Start stamping here shortly. First thing we gotta do is mag out the surface. I gotta get up there on the skids and get that edge. Cause it's hard to put down pressure on a funny float up against the wall like that. So I'm gonna try getting on there with my skids. See if I can get that. Hopefully it's not too soft for that. Without, without dragging it across the surface. Barn board going? What? Or is it just a given to go this way with barn board? Yeah, I'd go that way. That's the way we planned on it, I think. Backpack sprayer today from Tomahawk gas powered one to put on the release today because we got a big stamp job tomorrow we want to try it on so we're just giving it a little test run today see how it's going to work. You want to do? I just want to spray some more of the sand so we can see it pull it. We got the uh, put one more there. Yeah, I can get it after we pull it, I think. Yeah, that's what I meant by it's a little tricky getting up under that ridge right there. But we'll get some texture in it with this thing. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you want to go with that one up there? Yeah, I was just going to make sure it gets that mark. Right? Oh, actually, that's pretty good. You get it. That's pretty good, man. Gotcha. Yep. Much as we're walking on, we probably don't need to tamp them yet. Take this black one, yep. start it there, and bring it up over this one, I think, yep. for now. And then we can then we can pick it right up and probably go down there with it. Oh. You want me to, uh, try no, I'll just leave it for now. Yeah, a little bit. Those little ones right there might come in handy. Exciting. Yes. Um, I think so, yeah. Show one, then we'll take that orange one, Darren. Yep. Darren, can we get that orange one, please? We're rushing you. Come oh, on, you gotta, hurt. gotta work faster. This one's got the big. The big notch in it. Ooh, comes the sun. I need that one. Please. That's tricky part about woman bring this right up hold on I think so, yeah. yep Underneath this lip, with this makes it a little bit easier when we lay the big ones. But we got tamp here, Luke. This row? Yep, that row right there. Front row. Alright, you ready? Okay. Ooh. That wasn't good.
Maybe we ought to skip it one. Okay. Take that gray one and we'll, or that black one, run it right up like we just did over there. That black one should be good, right? As far as tamped. Yeah. What that gray one right here? Yeah, I tamped that one. We could use a gray one. We did a guy's whole house like this in Rangeley. Big post and beam house. He did inside. Inside, the house. inside his house. Yeah. The whole house. The whole house. Oh, I don't know. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. No, we already measured it. There's no way we'll get one up under the. You could take the little one and check it. I mean, but I think you're going to be an inch or two long. It's hard enough getting this one up under there and getting it out without dragging it a little bit. Wanna take this gray one and go there then? Yep. Yep. Gotta go way up over here. Yep. Yep. I don't think so, maybe that one. The color we used today was mocha brown from Butterfield. But any, we typically use either brown or gray when we do these barn board. This brown looks good though. Put a little black in that after. Yeah, gotcha. I have to take these home and wash them because they don't really have running water here yet. So I'll take them home, hit them with a hose, a little bit of Dawn detergent, and they'll clean right up nice. Definitely want to wash them after every use. It just makes the next use that much easier, cleaner. Got it just in time, I think. Have to get a screw gun and screw that door shut. Well, yeah, well, we're gonna go clean up our mess out there, get everything put back in the truck, come over here and load these stamps, and then pretty much all ready for the big pool deck tomorrow. Then we're gonna get out of here. Let's go take a look at the tide, see how much it's come in. It's time we got here, six o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now, so four hours. Yeah, it's coming way in now. You see the water's all the way back up to the rocks. What'd you say? So when I sprayed that release, it released quite a bit, it felt like. It did. Should we pick up another can today to be safe? Uh, you got two the, the other day, right? Yeah. And I don't know how much we already had. I think we had two and a half. Oh, so we got like four? I think that, I think it was four and a half. But I thought it was running out. It might not have been. It might have just been me, but... Oh, there's probably three gallons left in there. Yeah, it's over half. And then there's a little bit left in there yeah. still, right? Probably just leave it right in there. Yeah, that works really good. I think it works really good. Well, it's fast. So That's for sure. Right. Especially when we get out in front of that clubhouse thing. 
Should be able to cover some ground with that. So that's going to do it for today. Now we'll come back and teak wash this and add our secondary color. But to learn more about that, check out my link below about how to stamp concrete. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.